Hopkinton's 300th anniversary officially came to a close with a ceremony at the Hopkinton Center for the Arts. Board of Selectmen Chair Ben Palaco thanked Chair of the Friends of the 300th Committee, Ann Click, and Chair of the 300th Anniversary Committee, Gene Birchman, with Hopkinton-related gift baskets for all the hard work they put in to organizing the year of celebration. Eric Sonnet of the Parks and Recreation Commission presented Chair of the Claflin Fountain Project, Lenny Holden, with a citation thanking him for his effort. In this case, the certificate says, Town of Hopkinton Certificate of Appreciation presented to Lenny Holden by the citizens of Hopkinton in gratitude for outstanding work on and a lasting contribution to the restoration of the Kaplan Memorial Fountain, signed by Bob Dubinsky, Chair of the Parks and Rec Commission, and Jeff Guelphy, the Director of the Parks and Rec Commission. Lenny, thank you for your effort. Two aerial shots of the 300th anniversary celebration fireworks that will be hung in town hall were revealed at the closing ceremony. How, how he did it with the use of a drone, but you can see all the people um, and get a sense for how many people in the community came out and of course the, the fireworks themselves are spectacular and we do have one of these that will be going into one of the time capsules so people can enjoy that in 50 years when they open them. A group of quilters unveiled a 300th anniversary quilt that will hang in the historical society. <laughs> Joe Regan and John Foster unveiled the homemade 300th anniversary bench that will house a time capsule to be opened at the 350th anniversary. Foster and Joe Regan have um, worked together to craft a beautiful, unique, one-of-a-kind, handmade bench. It's made from tree milled by Joe Regan and entirely designed and created by John Foster. This bench is absolutely beautiful and I'll show it to you in a minute, but it will house our time capsules. So the boxes will be inserted under the seat and um, when the library is renovated, that's where it will be housed permanently. So we're hoping that this time capsule being hidden in plain sight will be uh, easier for people to remember and, and they'll, they'll know that it's there and it will certainly be a lot easier to open than wherever Mike Whalen is than the last one was. So the time capsules, this is the best part, are, are in, the, in the seat underneath. There's two panels, there are brass plaques on it underneath. And um, the boxes are over there. Um, we did put in tamper-proof screws. Um, and then I, I put in a little key in the bottom of the bench and marked it with key. So if they can't find a way to get the screws out, they can drill them out, drill out the key. And, and so that's all the presents. <laughs> um, I think I just, I want to close by, by saying, um, you know, as we close the chapter on this century and start to look ahead um, to the next with wonder and anticipation, I really want to charge the young people in the room to remember this moment in history and um, to be the ones to get the party started in, in, in the, in our, for our 350th anniversary. Open up your letters, uh, learn a little something about your past, um, take care with this town that we all love so much and have worked so hard to uh, preserve and to um, to be to be I, I'm losing my words, but to just to, to take care. So I just I want to just speak mostly to the young people in the room to say that we really did this for you. Um, we all love this town and we hope that we've made a great home for you here. It will always be your home. And uh, we hope that you'll come back, not only 50 years from now, but certainly 50 years from now to celebrate again. And maybe I'll be the oldest resident by then. <laughs> <laughs> Without further ado, I think the festivities have come to a conclusion.
please eat the chocolate fountain. And, uh, and thank you all so much for a wonderful year. Have a wonderful